What's up, y'all? Back again with another video. Again, butter blend loose deep, but this time we are getting to some plucking. So I wanted to show y'all how I plucked this wig because this unit came out as such a great install. I wanted to show y'all what I did on some plucking. Now I did take the advice of, I wanna say two main YouTubers that do hair. Um, one of them is Erica J. And then another lady is someone that I just um, started watching. So I'll go ahead and put a link to her video in the description. Um, but yes, they showed me a couple different ways. So I came up with a couple different ways to make it look like how I wanted it to look. So right now, what I'm doing is I have separated it where I wanted to pluck. And the reason that I did this, um, Erica J does not suggest that you separate it, but the other lady does. And the reason I went with the suggestion of separating it is so that I can thin the hair out. I liked her idea of thinning the hair out before you actually began to style pluck, is what I call it. And you'll see what I mean by style plucking in just a moment. But see, I have plucked or thinned out where it is that I know I want to pluck. And so now it's looking how I want it to look. This process does take a long time. Just because this video is highly edited, it took me a day. Now we're getting into style plucking. And when I say style plucking, I am going in the direction that I want my hair to lay. So I'm plucking, as you can see, going back because I want my hair to lay back. I don't like baby hairs, or should I say I don't wear baby hairs, so I style pluck so that my install looks like it's coming out of my scalp. And see that it's looking like it's coming off my wig head. Now I'm going through and I'm making sure that it's not too thin, but I do want a natural indentation of a hairline. So while I'm plucking, what I'm looking for is I'm not looking for thinner. I'm actually plucking from the root, looking for hairline because you will see large knots. Synthetic wigs, for some reason, have larger knots. And since, you know, you can't really bleach them, you want to make them look as much like it's coming out your head as possible. And see, so now I'm thinning it out. I'm not plucking from the root anymore. Now I'm thinning the hair out again. And I go back and forth doing this, plucking from the root and plucking from just the hair itself to thin the hair out. And see, I'm going slow here so that you can see that I'm literally plucking now from the root because I've moved to another section. And I do this in sections because according to the wig is how you will want to pluck. And see how I'm creating a natural hairline because when you part your hair, you have natural hairline like what's showing. However, with a wig, you don't have that, so you have to pluck to get that. And now what I'm doing is I'm plucking, not the root, but the hair. So I'm thinning out the hair as I'm plucking. You see how that's looking on that side right there? That's the look I'm going for all around my line. You can see the difference. Thank you. 
I like a thinner hairline. Some people don't. Just remember, though, plug too much, it's not coming back. So unless you know how to install and ventilate and do that sort of thing. But if you don't, it will not come back. So beginner's tip, I suggest using the tweezers that you use for your individual eyelashes. One, they take out less hair. Two, you're able to actually control where you're plucking a little bit more than you do with bigger tweezers. And I'm just going through and I'm thinning it out. I'm not plucking from the root any longer. Now, I'm style plucking. I'm going through and I'm plucking how I want the hair to lay. And again, this takes a long time. Take your time because you don't want to mess up your wig. You don't want bald spots. You don't want it to be bald. You don't want to have to try and figure out how to hide bald spots or anything. Believe me, I've done it. Go slowly. Don't pluck in the same space. Go from side to side. Unless you're intentionally trying to get the bigger knots out. And here, that's what I'm trying to do. There are big black knots right there. And so I'm trying to get that out so that it'll look more natural. And it's coming. It's coming together. As you can see, it's looking a lot more natural than it was. And I don't use T-pins to tie my wig down when I'm plucking because I'm grabbing on it anyways. I don't want all that tension to create holes. So I just use the tension that I'm using as far as either the hair or the lace. Spray water, it makes it a lot easier. And get your pluck on. Smaller pieces better. Take your time. I promise it will be worth it. Take your time. Literally, this took me 24 hours. Yes, I stopped and came back and stopped and came back, but it still took me 24 hours. So take your time. See, plucking from the root. I go back and forth from plucking from the root. And this is what she came out as. Look at that. Popping. I'm loving it. Popping. Looking like it's coming out my scalp. HD lace. So it's ashy, yes. Still got to add some makeup and stuff. But that'll be in the install video. You'll see that too. Thank you. Don't forget, like, comment, and subscribe. New videos every Sunday, y'all. Bye.